end of day two and I'm actually putting the bin up. I thought I'd come out and show, show a little bit of video that um, what they got done. It's been raining off and on all day. I've been working in the shed. But um, they've got the roof up obviously. That center collar up there. All the roof fence are on and the first ring is in. And they would use the skid steer with this improvised boom on it. I can show that. It's kind of clever. They would assemble those roof sections on the ground and then pick it up with the end of this and use the skid steer to get in. My stairs, or the, the main door is going to be right around here to get in and the unloading auger is going to be right there next to it. So I think it's six rings tall. But they're going to um, jack this whole assembly up and put another ring underneath it. So they'll jack this up, whatever that is, three feet, four feet, put a new ring in, bolt it to the series of bolts along the bottom, and then just keep going up. Uh, my platform, the stairs are going to start here and go back down this way. I decided to do that so they wouldn't interfere in any way with the... Um, the auger, which is going to come in from the other side, it's a slight chance they would interfere, but also then my landing will be right here, you know, 20 odd feet off the ground. And potentially I'm going to put a 18 foot diameter bin over here and then I can connect the two and not have to, and have one set of stairs going up to them. But then this, these rungs here are what, number one, what they use to get up to the roof temporarily, but also my horizontal ladder will go up there and there'll be a handrail on that. And this is the access cover, the manhole, to get into the bin or, you know, from up here if for some reason you need to get on top with a safety harness, obviously. But that's how they're getting in and out as they assemble it. So the only way to get that um, jig, I don't know what you'd call it, that rotating uh, frame, red frame that was uh, shown in the first video, the only way to get that out is to pass it through the man door, which is going to be you know, four or five rings down. It'll be on walk-in entrance. It'll be on the uh, second ring, I think. Um, that's how they get that out. So until they get all the way up, every time they go inside, they're going to be climbing in here into that manhole cover and working inside. You know, one guy's on the outside with the impact, tightening the bolts down, or a guy's on the inside with the wrench, or maybe vice versa. Um, to, a lot of bolts to tighten, but um, that's just the end of the second day. I don't know, I've never been up this close to a bin in person to see if it's going well or not, but uh, there's a crew of three guys, I think, led by Jake. Jake seems to really have a handle on things, so he and I have talked about some of the layout stuff and what would work best. It's impressive, if nothing else. I'll keep shooting these videos at the end of every day, give or take, until they've got it up. Bye.